Well, we knew sooner or later the obvious would be confirmed, and that is that William Hague is lying to Parliament and the British people about the UK arming the rebels in Syria. Take a long look at this article. Open war crimes, US and British backed weapons airlift from Croatia to terrorists in Syria. Now, anyone who can think for themselves will have realised that NATO's plan to overturn the sovereign state of Syria is well behind schedule. They thought it'd be a walk in the park like Libya was. Get a dodgy, no-fly zone UN resolution, drop 30,000 bombs, kill at least 35,000 innocent people, kill Gaddafi, job done. However, Syria has proved a harder nut to crack. In the United Nations, China and Russia have repeatedly vetoed America and Britain's requests to introduce a similar no-fly zone to be able to bomb the country back to the Stone Age. How Orwellian is that name, a no-fly zone, which actually means send 30,000 bombs your way and if you retaliate you're a terrorist so we need to bomb you more. Now they have to move to plan B and plan B is to use proxies but this isn't really working because the proxies are still taking heavy casualties. Also, the issue with Plan B is that the US and the British will not be able to sell the idea of directly arming terrorists in Syria. Because whichever way you look at it, the Syrian so-called rebels have strong ties to Al-Qaeda. The very same Al-Qaeda that were killing US and British soldiers in Iraq and Afghanistan. You may have noticed recently that all the talk has been of humanitarian aid or non-lethal aid. This of course is nonsense and the proof is now in. Look at this headline. 75 planes with 3,000 tons of weapons left Croatia for Syria. The article goes on. A Croatia daily newspaper reported recently that from the start of November last year till February this year, 75 planes threw out of Zagreb airport with over 3,000 tons of weapons and ammunition bound for Syrian rebels. The newspaper, quoting diplomatic sources, says that besides the Croatian weapons, the planes were full with weapons from other European countries, including the UK. The weapons were organised by the United States of America. You see, NATO has been trying their best to keep a lid on the biggest international black operation transfer of military supplies in recent history. They've wheeled out William Hague in his most statesmanlike suit and most serious facial expression time and time again to say they are not arming the rebels who are in fact Al-Qaeda. Hague has been lying to us all. As I've been saying for ages, the UK are involved in arming the Syrian rebels who are Al-Qaeda. In doing this, Haig is opening up the UK to potential war crimes in the future. But again, he doesn't care because he's another establishment yes man. He is told what to do, he is told what to say. I haven't heard any so-called mainstream news coverage about this weapons drop apart from one article from the Telegraph. The mainstream media are just not interested in reporting the truth. Where do you think the likes of ITV, BBC, Channel 4, Sky News all get their information from? Government sources. So the government is probably not going to admit that it's potentially committing war crimes. But because we don't have journalists anymore, we have repeaters, they literally just repeat what the government say, these things don't ever get reported. Now I know I'll be held up as a conspiracy theorist for reporting on something that has actually been sanctioned by a government, 
But a conspiracy theory? No chance. It simply isn't the case. This is fact. These airlifts are documented and they have happened. Now may I suggest you read the articles highlighted in this video and research what is really going on in Syria. Because the UK are arming, training, funding the Syrian rebels who are Al-Qaeda. The same Al-Qaeda that we're told attacked America on 9-11 and the same Al-Qaeda that we are told attacked London on 7-7. How can we be supporting these people? How is that possible in a so-called civilised society? In fact, David Cameron himself has now hinted that he will arm the Syrian rebels. Never forget that the rebels are Al-Qaeda. He is talking about bypassing the EU arms embargo. Why is he saying this now? Because they are already arming them. Okay? He's setting us up so that they don't get caught out. He's telling us what they're already doing. One question we must always have in the back of our minds when it comes to Syria is this. Why are we so involved in their civil war when we know that this will seriously piss off Syrians allies, i.e. Russia and China? Listen, waking up is not hard. In terms of having access to the information, it's all there for you. Yes, you have to pick through some of the crap, but the majority of it is there, and a lot of it is reported by well-known, well-established media outlets. It's literally there at a click of a button. But the trouble with waking up is getting your head around the fact that most of what you have learned about how the world works is wrong. And that governments aren't in fact working to assist and help their people. Coming to terms with that, that is the hardest part of waking up. For some, it's a paradigm shift too far. They just cannot get it and they go off and they be happy little zombies. But awaken we must. And start with this. This is a slam dunk for those who are trying to prove that the government is corrupt. It's provable that they are lying and they are arming the rebels in Syria who once again are Al-Qaeda who attacked us on 7-7. It's an absolute disgrace.